to see this question uh, there is a rectangular plate of mass m kilogram of dimensions a times b so this is your plate this is width b uh, a this is the length b the plate is held in horizontal position by striking n small balls each of mass m per unit area per unit time okay these are striking in the shaded half region of the plate so on this half plate the balls are striking and trying to keep it horizontal okay the balls are colliding elastically with velocity v what is v it is given that n mass and uh, everything the parameters are given values are given so i have drawn this actually a 3d diagram because the original diagram is not really clear so we have plate which is kept horizontally the plate is kept horizontally okay right the plate has this width a and the length over here b okay now for half of the plate for this dark blue shaded region balls are striking on on the plate okay balls are continuously striking from the bottom balls are continuously striking from the bottom and trying to keep it horizontal okay because the balls are striking at the bottom and when they uh, strike the plate and bounce back they apply a force on the plate so if the balls are being thrown continuously towards the plate in upward direction the plate is continuously experiencing a vertical upward force and it remains horizontal so we have to solve this question by using the torque okay first of all we need to find the total force applied by this balls okay how would we uh, how would we do that number of balls striking per second is n okay n is what number of balls striking per second so divide by time and per unit area okay that's what is given over here number of balls striking per unit time per unit area is small n so if i want to find the number of balls striking in one second i need to take this area and multiply it over here okay so what is the area of this dark blue shaded region this width is a but this length will be half of b so b by 2 so i can write down the area as a b by 2 so this is a number of balls striking per second now it is uh, let's say that the velocity of the balls is v so they strike the plate and bounce back the question says collision is elastic so when they strike and bounce back they are going up with velocity v and coming back downwards with velocity v so delta v will be equal to 2v change in velocity will be 2v okay so change in momentum change in momentum of one ball will be how much that will be equal to 2 mv mass into delta v delta v multiplied by mass okay so what is the total change in momentum per second so in one second these many balls are striking so total change in momentum per second will be a b n by 2 times 2 mv so a b n mv this is a total change in momentum per second so this is also the force applied by the balls on the plate this is the force applied by the balls on the plate now this force is acting on the entire area uniformly the force is acting on this entire area uniformly so since the force is acting uniformly i can say that the equivalent single force should be acting at the center of the shaded region so single force i should apply at the center okay now this force will create this force will create torque about this hinge over here this is your hinge okay about this hinge the plate can rotate about this horizontal axis and this force is creating torque and trying to balance mg how and this is uh, your mg will be acting i should draw it over here this is your mg so mg is acting along the center of the plate right so distance of mg from the center is b by 2 distance of f from the hinge will be how much so b by 2 plus this is what half of b by 2 so b by 2 plus b by 4 so 3 b by 4 okay let's write down over here this distance is 3b by 4 and this distance is b by 2 so mg is creating torque about this axis f is also creating torque about this axis and the two torques should balance each other for equilibrium of the plate so 
mg into b by 2 should be equal to f into 3b by 4. So mg times b by 2 should be equal to f times 3b by 4. Correct. So uh, b will get cancelled out and this will be 2. So mg equal to 3 by 2 times f. f is what? a, b, n, m, v. Okay, Actually, there's a mistake over here. I did small mistake. Mass is capital M. This is capital M. The gravitational force of the plate is capital M. Okay, capital M, capital M. Right. So V will be equal to 2 capital MG by 3 A, B, N, M. So now we just need to put the values. So V will be equal to 2 times capital M is 3 kg, G will be taken as 10 divided by 3 times A is given to be uh, 1 meter, B is given to be 2 meter and N, N is given to be 100, okay, and small m is given to be 0 0.01, alright, so 100 times 0 0.01 will cancel out, 3 is getting cancelled out, 2 is getting cancelled out, so we get V equal to 10 meter per second. This is your answer. Okay.